Very good morning to everybody. It is Saturday now, the 1st of February 2020, and to introduce my video for Sunday, the 2nd of February 2020, I'm in Blackpool Tower itself looking down onto the comedy carpet. I'm having to be in here this morning due to the crazy, crazy weather again and a terrible wind this morning. Absolutely terrible. So I cannot introduce a video from outside. It wouldn't be possible. Now, first of all, I want to thank everybody as usual who watches these videos. Thank you to you all very much. It's very important that, that I say this. And also thank you to everybody who supplies me with little trinkets of information, thank you. And also to the people that allow myself to make these videos. Now, this video this week, there's a little trinket and also road closures. There's a couple of road closures and visits to our usual sites. So again, I thank everybody involved. Thank you all very much. And I'm going to start the video now. Thank you. Very goodbye. Bye-bye to everybody. Just outside St John's Church, opposite the Winter Gardens, and this morning we have a row of vehicles, search dogs, fire and rescue. And one of the lorries, one of the vans here, has actually made the journey up from Tunbridge Wells. Here's his vehicle here, Kent Fire and Rescue Service, all the way from Tunbridge Wells, which took him just over six hours. And here is a look inside of one of the vans with the steel cages for the dogs who will travel up in this. And here is another van from Hereford and Worcester. What this is, there is a training exercise inside the basement of the Winter Gardens. All the dogs are searching for various objects. Very playful black Labrador oh, yeah, with his with his wonderful handle, and also in the van in the kennel there, there's one having a good bark because I think he's a bit jealous. And, it is. and so inside this kennel here back, is a Springer so Spaniel. Home. Oh, I'm sorry, there's also one here called a Sprocker, a Springer Spaniel and a breed called a Sprocker. And a view of all the vans, all in a nice tidy little row here, outside St John's Square, this day, Monday, the 27th of January 2020, on their exercise in the Winter Gardens. Very good morning everybody and welcome to a wild, windy walkabout Wednesday. It is crisp and perhaps a bit on the cold side. Yes, there's the Wilco store and now I would like to walk you down this first part of Topping Street. You might say that Topping Street is actually Street of the Week. This is where all the work is taking place this week. And there's, there's some contractors across the road. They are laying the, pave, the pavement slabs. And in front, we see their vehicle, Mac Paving Limited. Continuing our walk, 
Now that's where we'll, we will be going very soon. We're going to carry on and we are outside the Iceland store now. I can just show you these contractors here at work extending the pavements. There we are, one in front, preparing for that company you just seen to lay the pavement slabs. Just reversing now so as we can walk down the outside of this cage. We can now get from one side of the road to the other via this very, very nice, nicely made walkthrough. Now, as you can see, no paving slabs here yet, but this will soon be all nicely laid with those new paving slabs. At the end of the cage now, just outside the Washington Public House, Yesterday, Tuesday, saw the return of the number six bus. There it is in front on its way to Grange Park and this, is, this bus has now returned to Corporation Street and its very own bus stop and shelter. There we are in front is the number six actual bus stop and its very own bus shelter which has now been renovated. It was involved in a car accident several several months ago now can you see that black post there now that is a new installation as well to stop drivers entering this road too quickly and causing an accident right outside the rear entrance of Viva nightclub. This is where we are and in front you will see this shop of Surfline this very morning having all its all its wares taken away as it's closing down this very very day. The landlord has now complete permission from Blackpool Council to turn this big shop into three units and upstairs the units upstairs to be turned into three separate flats. Yes, that's what's going to happen here. Three units of shops and three new flats above. Some more interesting news. Surfline, that's the shop that closed down, is actually relocating just across the road. Now you can see some hamburgers here. Now this is where Surfline are relocating to. They hope to make the move early April-ish of this year. And a quick view of where we started from. The rear of the Sands Venue Resort Hotel. Now I have had information passed to myself that this actually will be the main entrance. I'm just going to show you where that will be. You're looking at it now. This is where the main entrance will be to the Sands Venue Resort Hotel. I'm off home now out of this crazy, crazy wind. I've enjoyed this though. Bye bye. The Iceland shop across the road and this is what is going to happen from this coming Monday the 3rd of February. Now we are now entering an area which will be attended to for 22 weeks starting this Monday, the 3rd of February. Now I'm just going to turn back and to show you where we are. There's the Iceland shop with all the cages 
and the contractors working inside there. However, as and from Monday, they progress down here. And the area that they will be working on stretches all the way halfway down the whole of Topping Street. Where we're walking now, all the pavements will be attended to on either side of the road and I believe a new road surface. Just going to walk you down because it, it, it is important They've just this morning placed these signs. And this is where the cages will extend to. Just reversing again, that's where we start, that's where we started from Iceland and we work our way right the way down to a street called Wood Street. And this is Wood Street, just show you where it is. It's this road here to my left and just turning to my right that is also known as Wood Street and Churchill's public house is right on the corner here and here is the newly placed road signs. Well somebody's just chosen to drive down it. Quite incredible. So for 22 weeks this area here will be closed to traffic. Would just like to show one further thing. Now should a driver find himself along this part here what you will have to do is there's a newly posted sign here you will have to travel in your vehicle up to Wood Street and find your way from there turning either left or right well vehicles seem to still be going down here I suppose is access to all the shops at the moment but you have to be very very careful coming down Topping Street now so that's the first of our road works covered so I'm going to go on to the next one now on our way to our next venue I'm just going to show Blackpool's conference centre and hotel virtually adjacent to the Winter Gardens. Now I find this very difficult to film but I'm going to try my best because all the work really is all done inside and as said I will do my best but this is what's happening here there is rapid progress rapid progress but however all the work is being attended to virtually from the inside just a quick visit to Blackpool's conference centre and hotel which is coming along very very nicely indeed. This is our second traffic and road closure report. Now we're in Talbot Road now and in front there's a news and booze shop and on the left hand side is Malloy's public house. Just going to wait for the traffic to pass and then we will make our journey and I can show you the roadworks that will be taking place in the very very near future. We can cross safely now. I have shown this about two or three videos ago but unfortunately time goes so very very quickly especially as you get older as you get older
time really does come and go ever so quickly. Now we've got to make our way down to the central library. You can see all the work that's taking place here. And in front now, you will see the central library, which is the entrance to Queen Street. Just turning to my left to show you the work here and returning to Queen Street. Now, not this Monday, not this Monday, the 3rd of February, but the Monday after, Monday week, the 10th of February, 2020. This area here of Queen Street, from the Central Library, right up to the top there, will close to all traffic for four weeks. Now, having said that, this is subject to change, but however, time is running out now for that to change so um, possibly it will remain that for four weeks from the 10th of February this road will be closed to traffic so that's my little report of these two impending two road closures in Blackpool this coming period of time one Topping Street from this Monday and the second one Queen Street taking effect subject to a very very late change in two Mondays time of the 10th of February. The front of the Premier Inn. Our visit here today will be to explain that the red security netting has now been removed from over halfway of this build at the front. I'm just going to take you to the top. There we are. There's that red security netting still on the top couple of floors. But however, as you can see, the netting is now removed from the lower part of this build and the facing bricks and that white sandstone is now very, very visible in a big way. So it's really, really now taking shape as it always has done with this build and these contractors. And the very, very same thing on the side elevation. The red security netting still visible on the top floors but however moving down and there is no sign at all of this netting. It has all been lifted. We are now at the rear of the build of the Premier Inn and you can see again all the way round here this red security netting is now lifted on the lower part of this build. And there's some contractors there just putting some plasterboard onto that hoist. Now I'm really, really lucky again this morning as what's happening is now there is now very, very light drizzle. So I'm, I'm hoping that you've enjoyed this Thursday's video and I'm now going to close it down due to the annoyance of this drizzle, which has in fact started. Welcome to the front of the Sands Venue Resort Hotel on this very, very windy Saturday morning of the first day in February. As a point of interest, this is the front of the build, but the main entrance is actually at the rear. 
our usual view from the front to the rear showing the progress of the extension. We are now walking along the alleyway of the first side of this build, the side closest to the amusement arcade. Well, I said we're walking, but I'm nearly being blown to bits here. Very, very windy indeed. And I can show you, there we are. There's the wonderful progress of this extension. I will tell you that the visit here, all the audio is a voiceover. And a view of that same side, right at the end, looking back to where we started. We are now at the rear of the build and the gates are open because we have this pumping machine here from Technic. They're just awaiting the arrival of the concrete so as they can do their business here today. We will carry on our visit and I will return when that lorry with the concrete arrives. This is still at the rear of the build, but I have simply walked further along and this is the full view of that rear of this build. We will now go to the second side, firstly showing this platform lift here. Well, somehow we have made it round. The wind is very, very strong indeed, and this is the second side of the build, the side closest to Blackpool Tower. Just received information that that concrete lorry has arrived, so we will go back there. Yes, this is the tarmac lorry that has arrived. It arrived while I was filming some part of the build, so now this can be pumped in by this vehicle here. Well, now this concludes our visit today to the Sands Venue Resort Hotel. Very pleased, as said, to have actually made it round the four areas of this build. So now I'm going to press on now to our next venue a new business that has opened up in Blackpool. That road down there is Corporation Street. Now we have a new shop that's opened and it's just here and we have an invite to go inside. This is only three days old, this shop, and it is a gentleman's hairdresser. Well, we are inside now, and this has been fitted out beautifully. There's a lovely seat there for you to wait to have your hair done. And there's a big television here for your entertainment. Now, there's the three seats there and I'm just going to show you how well this is fitted out. Look at that lovely ceiling. The gentleman's name is Sinar. So there's our visit to this brand new gentleman's hairdressers.
just this side of Corporation Street. So all I've got to do now is to find Senar, thank him very much, and that's our visit, as said, to this hairdresser's. Thank you.